friends, welcome to Starlight and Stitches. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I really, really appreciate it. If you've been here before, then hi, welcome back. Thank you so, so much. Um, I really, really do appreciate you coming back to see me and I love all of you. If you are new here, then welcome. This is Alice Land and I am Alice. And in Alice Land, we talk about yarny stuff, crochet, we do yarn hauls, crochet book reviews, all sorts of crochet related goodness. So if that is something that you might enjoy, please do hit the subscribe button because my subscribers are the best. So if you join them, then you too can be one of the best. Yes, happy days. Guys, um, I've just realized it's Thursday evening here and I haven't done you a video this week, so I'm very, very sorry, but I've been having a wonderful time with my daughter. It's the Christmas holidays. Uh, we've been watching movies. We have been binge watching all the Harry Potter films um, and we've finished them again today. I don't know how many times we've watched them all, but that's what we've been doing. Uh, we've been doing all manner of Christmassy things in preparation for the big day. So um, yeah, time ran away with me and uh, I didn't have anything prepared. However, I did get some yarn in the other day, so I thought I could do a mini yarn haul before Christmas. Hey! Um, even though I said I was not going to buy any more because I don't need any more. Um, a couple of the projects that I've been working on this month, I have been using a particular type of yarn. And although I have struggled with it in the past, I have quite enjoyed the finished projects. So I bought some more. It's nothing exciting. Um, I haven't got some wondrous new thing to show you. It's uh, stuff that I've used before and stuff that I've shown you before. And I've just got a little bunch of Flutterby Chunky. Wow, that's bright with my lights. It's pitch black outside, so I've got a big bright ring light. Ah! Flutterby Chunky, James Seabrett. Um, I've used this before for several projects and I used it this month for a particular item that I made. Uh, which you'll see in the end of the month finished project video. And I really liked how it turned out. So I got a few more colors because I needed to get some more white. So I've got a couple of white. Um, it doesn't really have much exciting info on here. It doesn't actually tell you it's white. It is color B01. B01. Um, so I've got a couple of these. Each of these balls, are 175 meters which is 192 yards it's a hundred percent super soft polyester yes it is um it says it's machine washable 30 degree wash do not iron do not tumble dry do not bleach um yeah i like it i like this stuff um the only thing that i struggle with with the flutter by chunky is if i need to frog it <laughs> or if i make a magic ring and then i need to pull the ring tight quite often it snaps so I have to be quite aware of that when I'm starting projects that require a magic ring. So a couple of balls of white. I got a ball of black. I haven't been able to get the black before, but it's, um, yeah, look how soft and fluffy that is. It's lovely. It's lovely. Um, the black's colour code is B30. So I got a ball of that. I will reach down beside me. I have got what's exciting it's not really that exciting but I like new yarn um I got this one this is called unicorn spot you can see it better if I hold it here um I have had this one before I used this one to make my daughter's scarf last year which was one of the first things that I ever made when I started crocheting because I've only been crocheting for a year um unicorn spot so I got one of them because I didn't have any and I like this one I think it's very pretty and then I also got this one which is called spring print and again it's all those beautiful pastel colors if i hold it there oh you do get it ring light doesn't cause dramatic effects on there so that is called spring print and the color is i can't see b38 so it's all these beautiful pastel colors let me just grab back the unicorn spot again see if it'll work for this one yeah lovely look at that just literally got spots of colour running all the way through it and it works up really nicely. The other colours that I have got in my possession now, which I haven't had before in this type of yarn, is red. It's a nice red, colour B31. So it's a really nice, it's quite a Christmassy red actually, but I do like, you know me, I like my bold colours. So I've got some red, which is lovely. And I got a cat down by my ankles who might shake the tripod. Millie, do 
you want to say hello? No, you're going to be shy, aren't you? This one is rose pink, uh, uh, colour number B19. I'll show you that one. It's a beautiful sort of dusty pink colour. It's almost got a bit of sort of purpley shade in it as well. It's lovely, but that's a new one for my collection. And then lastly, friends, I got this one, which is Deep Rose. So it's like a really dark, dusky pink, which I like very, very much. There we go. So I can add these ones to my collection of Flutter by Chunky. I need to stop buying yarn. But I keep I, what I keep doing is like getting ideas for things and then I'll make one of them and then I'll go, yeah, I'm going to make loads. And then I'll make something else. And then I don't make loads of the thing I was going to make loads of. But here's my yarn. And it's so soft and squishy. Um, like I said, the only issue that I have with these is if I need to frog it or if you've got to pull it taut. Sometimes it's a struggle if you have to uh, find particular stitches. Back loop only and front loop only using your yarn can be a little bit of a... A little bit of a headache sometimes but um when you see what i've made out of the flutter by chunky this month um i think you'll understand why i've bought some more because i'm really happy with how my project came out so just a little one just a little yarn haul and also just a little quick one to pop in because today obviously it's thursday the 23rd of december and that's christmas eve eve so i am not going to get a chance to get anything done for you tomorrow or over the weekend, maybe not even next week. I will try and get a video for you next week, but it's still the holidays. And uh, I'm pretty sure that my daughter is going to have an awful lot of games and toys and presents to play, so <laughs> might be a busy one. Um, I will do my best, but I wanted to wish you all a very happy Christmas. I wanted to wish you a happy holidays. I wanted to send my love to all of you and send my thanks to all of you um, over this holiday period, however you celebrate it, whether you do or not. Um, I wanted to send you all lots of love because I am so, so grateful for all of your support, every single one of you that comment on my videos, that share my videos, that tell your friend, oh, have you seen this like mad bird on YouTube? She talks about yarn and stuff. She's a bit bonkers, but she's all right. I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to every single one of you. So thank you so, so much for being here. I don't normally like getting like gushy and stuff and I don't normally do the gushy thing, but um, if you can't do it now, then when can you do it? <laughs> uh, yeah, happy Christmas, or happy holidays, or happy whatever you're celebrating. Um, I'm, I'm pleased to have you here, I really am. Um, tomorrow, Christmas Eve, and then it's Christmas Day. Tomorrow's a big day for us, because tomorrow is our annual viewing of A Muppet's Christmas Carol, which I shall be watching with my big sister, who you saw in one of my earlier videos, uh, my daughter, and also my mum's gonna come and watch with us as well tomorrow. So we're all gonna watch A Muppet's Christmas Carol, and then it's Christmas Day. So I'm going to go and get some sleep. Got a few big days ahead of us. Lots of fun, lots of early mornings, I'm sure. Um, happy times all round. But thank you. Merry Christmas. I love you all. I hope you're looking after yourselves. Hope you're looking after your loved ones. And I will see you all very, very soon. Mwah. I love you. Happy Christmas.